So immediately after Gamma Knife, there's very few side effects. Um, we do watch patients every day, we talk to them every day, and again, a lot of this is specific to what we're treating and whether or not anybody had any problems on the way into Gamma Knife. But for the most part, in general, Gamma Knife itself doesn't have any immediate side effects. If patients have a head frame in place, there may be some discomfort or irritation at the pin sites. Some patients will also complain of fatigue. Most patients have some minor headaches or a little bit of nausea from the treatment. Typically, all of that has resolved by the next day. In rare cases, patients can have a robust response to the radiation that can cause inflammation in the brain. This usually will resolve on its own, but occasionally will require medical treatment to help alleviate those symptoms. When the brain around it gets inflamed and takes on a little bit of water, we can see someone who had a pre-existing seizure disorder, need more medication, or uh, maybe we put them on some steroids to prevent uh, a future seizure. So in general, uh, Gamma Knife in and of itself does not lead to an increased seizure rate, no. But if someone were to come in with a pre-existing condition or a inflammatory state that we were worried about, we might preemptively give them medication to make sure they don't have a seizure. After completion of the Gamma Knife treatment, patients are closely monitored over time. Patients will have an MRI every three months to follow their tumor. And oftentimes, if we see something on an MRI, we can intervene before it causes the patient any problems. We can see tumors that uh, are resistant or tough, and they may grow or regrow despite adequate treatment. But as far as developing a new cancer because someone had Gamma Knife you know, 10 or 15 years ago, we really haven't seen that bear out in the literature, and it's been studied. There's a very small chance of having long-term side effects with Gamma Knife. Anytime you're doing a procedure in the brain, whether it's intense radiation like Gamma Knife or surgery, there's a risk of damaging the normal brain around where you're treating. The risk of side effects are really determined by what portion of the brain we're treating, and the risk is very small that anybody would get any of these side effects. Thousands and thousands of patients have been studied for long-term consequences. So outside of the area we're treating, we really haven't seen any long-term downsides to being exposed to a Gamma Knife treatment in your 20s or your 30s. Is that gonna cause me a problem when I'm 50 or 60? The answer to that is no. Um, we do see treatment effect, but long, long-term uh, downside consequences are very minimal, if any.